Do they got people hostage? Yeah. They got people hostage. Okay, I own the arcade, yeah. What's going on guys, Aaron Hift here, and today it's actually my 21st birthday. I don't know if I'm gonna be uploading this the same day that I film it, but uh, my birthday was on March 24th and I turned 21, and instead of being out and partying with my buddies and, um, no, 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 I own four arcades and, um, they always seem to get in the way of my happiness. I had a bunch of plans to go do stuff with a bunch of buddies and right as I'm getting ready to walk out the door, some guy completely went in and vandalized an entire coin pusher at one of my arcades, actually Adrian. So, I haven't been there yet and to access the damage, um, but we are on our way. I'm so sorry if you guys don't like seeing these videos. I post a lot of them just because I should be like that gas station encounters channel, but instead I should be arcade encounters. Oh, sorry, I have a slur right now. I have a huge cold sore on the back of my lip, and so that's why I'm flooring everything. I should be like the gas gas station encounters guy, but I should be arcade encounters because honestly, I get about two break-ins a week. Either it's this arcade or another arcade or something. We're gonna go there, we're gonna make fun of this guy and uh, see what exactly is going on. So let's grab my keys. Oh, <laughs> someone's gotta pay this electric bill and it's me. So we're gonna shut those lights off. There was like a video I posted two videos back and it was in my house and it was really messy and everyone was like, clean your house. It's like, okay, I will, but I gotta make money first. So yeah, guys, I was gonna say something else, but I forgot. Let's head up to my arcade. All right, so I remember what I was gonna say. We're gonna be meeting my technician up there and uh, he's actually gonna be helping me put the coin pushers back into the ground. We're gonna secure them even better. I just can't get away from break-ins and I'm sorry I keep sharing these on the channel, but so many people like them. And so hopefully you guys aren't getting tired of them. Um, I'm just trying to kind of move my content in different directions every now and then to kind of pick up new viewers. A lot of people are like, it must be really fun owning arcades. And honestly, I wouldn't change owning four arcades and over 20 account locations for anything. Where it gets really stressful is like right now, not like it's any of your guys' problem, but my grandma's in the hospital with pneumonia and I was able to go see her a couple days ago and she's getting worse. She's in intensive care right now. And I want to go down there and see her, but instead I'm dealing with a store and I can't just leave my stuff broken into in a store and like you can't really vacation. Like every time I try to go on vacation, something happens with an arcade and you know, I love owning them and I love living the lifestyle that it lets me live. You know what I mean? I mean, I obviously do pretty good with them, but it just kind of it can really mess up some personal stuff and it has messed up personal stuff in my life between people like I had a cruise I was supposed to go on and I literally canceled the cruise with my entire family because of my arcades and there was stuff going on and so it's nice to have the money and stuff but you always got to think you know it's not always about the money so right after this I'm gonna try to film this video of everything going on and stuff like that and I'm actually gonna be rushing down and staying with uh, my uh, grandmother and uh, with her while she's in the hospital and stuff like that so I actually need to go to the mall right now because the mall's 10 minutes away and I was supposed to be there at 3 and it's currently 301. So, so I'm pulling up right now. They got the whole mall caution taped off. They're telling everyone to get out and whoa, 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 wait. Okay, hold on. Let's, whoa, what's going on? Dude, this is insane. I think the whole, someone else just got robbed in the mall. There's caution tape on it. <laughs> Oh my god. All right. They locked the arcade thing out. Do they want anybody in there or not? What? Do they got people hostage? Yeah. They got people hostage. <laughs> Holy shoot. Yeah. So you, so you own the arcade right? I own the arcade, yeah. Please no, officer. I'm not worried about that. They're probably, I bet. Holy <laughs> shit. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Say what's up to YouTube. <laughs> hey. Okay, so they got people all in. S I need to grab my phone. Hold on. So okay, I don't know. So apparently, I don't. I don't know what's going on. Someone robbed the mall at gunpoint. Yeah, I guess I would have done it. And then they GNC. Ran off, I guess. GNC. Yes. GNC. Why would you rob GNC? Well, Luckily, my my store was already closed from when they broke into this stuff. Okay. Now here comes up the entire mall right now. They're, no one's allowed in or out, and they got people, they got people held in there. Like, I don't know if you can see. There's like 20, 30 people in there. The guy with the gun took off. You're on YouTube, we're filming all this. Uh, yeah, I know. GMC was right. 
<laughs> Hello. All right, so right now we're trying to look at the footage of how these coin pushers, I'm gonna go up front and show you guys in just a second, but what, it was two days ago, do you know what time? Okay, well, it looks like the machine's running perfectly fine here. We just gotta find out when it was broke. Dude, this is so bad, and they have a kit. These aren't the people that destroyed the coin pusher, but this is earlier on in the day. She's like, look it, I got my little sun right here, and watch her, watch her hit it really quick. She like bumps into it really hard and runs away from it. Watch, watch, watch. Like she bumps into it, right? Now, look at how much she just moved it, and then she runs away from it like it wasn't her. Oh my god, what a piece of crap. What a good example for your son. Well, dude, what? I don't care how old he is. What, maybe he's too be like, we're gonna show you how to pay the bills. Oh my god. Oh, that's Trent. That's Trent. Look at, he's like, the alarm went off. Oh my gosh, and he had no idea that they hit it. And here it keeps going off, keeps going off. I think this is when they set the alarm off so loud it wouldn't keep going off. Check this guy out. Right there. This guy isn't the guy that done it either, but it looks like he's still a piece of crap. Look at him! Look at him! I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna try to steal the money from the machine by hitting it. He's like, oh, oh, he looks right at the camera. He's like, there's not a camera there. Oh, I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna- You know what's funny, guys? There's actually a door that closes. If you notice, the machines are turned off right now. Earlier in the video, when that girl that was holding that little boy hit the machine, she hit it so hard the alarm wouldn't shut off. And so they had to unplug them until I came and reset the machines. But when you unplug them, there's a door that closes. And when the door closes, it allows all the money that falls during the time the machine being shut off. All the money falls to me in a bucket down below. But this guy just keeps hitting it. So thanks, man. Just, yeah, just keep on hitting it. All the money is going to go to me every time you hit it. Here they are again. I think these are the same people from earlier. Look at, they come back and they just start. Look at how hard they're hitting it. I don't think they realize if that money falls that it's not going to go to them. Look at this. Watch how hard she hits it. You can see the whole machine flex. Watch this. Check it out. Check it out. Dude, you literally see it flex. Oh my gosh. Just gonna hit it one more time. Hey, hey son, you wanna see how me, mom and dad pay the bills? Oh, wait. Oh, oh what, what is that? Oh, hey, oh, look at that. Oh, bang! Oh, lady. Wait, did they get it to fall? Uh, no, they didn't get to fall. Dude, the door is closed. I literally cannot explain this enough. The door, the machine is unplugged, there's no light. Look down in the hole, dummy. The door is closed. Any money that falls while the machine is off is falling to me. When they did that, they actually broke the brackets. This is how the machines were held down, all three of them, and they broke the brackets. Some of them are even bent. They were only hitting this machine, but if you look, all these machines are attached. They bent this bracket, which bent this machine, and uh, they destroyed just a bunch of stuff, and so Bill, they did it during regular business hours, no, yep. No, no, no. Noticed. No one noticed at all, which... Now see, the reason they got away with it though was because the machine was unplugged and the alarm wasn't going off. But see, like I said earlier... Watch your head. The machine's turned off right now. This door closes when the machine turns off. This door closes when the machine turns off. So when the machine's open, all the money falls down here and it goes in that hole, which goes to you. But as soon as you turn the machine off, the door closes. Oh, every time they shook the machine, I don't I don't mean to make you have a little bit more work. I'm just trying to demonstrate. Every time they shook the machine with it off, watch. All the quarters went down there and went into here. But see, they shook it so much, it overfilled this bucket. And my grandpa's actually picking up all the quarters right now from the bottom from when they shook it. So, uh, so yeah, we're drilling holes right now and we're putting bolts in the ground. So this does not happen again. So as my tech's working on that machine over there, this is what we're gonna drill down into the ground, and uh, it's gonna go down pretty far into the ground to hold the coin pushers in instead of these things. These things were working, but apparently when a bunch of white trash comes in here, these things don't hold up to it. As you can see, they bent them so bad by hitting the machine so hard. And I cannot stress enough how good of parents of doing that in front of your little, your little son. Like, awesome parenting, on point. Where is it going down? That far. It's going down to about that far, but still that's far for the cabinet. You know what I mean? So check this out. We have one two three and four huge They went straight down in the ground and uh, Yeah, this thing isn't moving. I'm gonna let me show you what it looks like a coin pusher that Was bolted down. I wouldn't say the wrong way. Just not as secure See how much you can move it and Then you got this one. I mean <laughs> it doesn't move. It will snap the sides first before you move this. I mean, what's the weight capacity on those? What do you think those things can hold? 
Well, they hold ATMs from trucks being pulled out of the ground. Okay, so a lot. So I didn't want to film every little bit because it does get boring after a while. So look at this. We got all the coin pushers bolted in to the ground. Holy cow, this looks really nice. Well, my technician left. I have my grandpa uh, vacuuming. Here, let me move this for you really quick. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. We're just gonna kind of clean up the arcade because it is a mess. Someone thought it'd be a cool idea to start pulling them off. Oh my God, they did it here too. People just yank on them. I have to re-glue some of these again, darn it. <laughs> 